how to fix we couldn't connect to crunchy roll error hi everyone welcome to this quick tutorial where i'm going to show you two different methods with the help of which you would be able to easily fix this issue so make sure you watch this video carefully so that you don't miss any of the steps in this process now the first method that you can use to fix this issue is to simply check for an update for crunchy roll application for that you will have to go to your play store or app store and in the search bar you will have to type crunchy roll once you have done that, you just have to click on the Crunchyroll icon and here it will show you whether there is any update for Crunchyroll app or not. So if you see any update, then you will have to click on the update button and after the successful updation of your Crunchyroll app, you just have to click on the open button and check whether this problem is fixed or not. If the problem still persists, then the second method you can use is you can simply clear the cache or the extra files of Crunchyroll app. In order to do so, you will have to launch your settings application and then you just have to scroll down. Here you will have to click on apps and in the apps you will have to click on manage apps. Here it will show you all of the applications that are currently installed in your device. So among the given apps, you will have to search for Crunchyroll. Once done, you will be landed on the app info of Crunchyroll where you are going to see the clear data option in the bottom right hand corner. So you will have to click on clear data and after that you will have to first click on clear cache and then press OK. After clearing the cache of your Crunchyroll app, you just have to launch it and check whether this problem is fixed or not. If this problem still persists, then what you can do is you just have to click on the clear all data option this time and then you will have to press OK. Once you have done that, you will be logged out from your Crunchyroll app. So you will have to again log in into your account by providing your email address, phone number and password. And then you just have to check whether this problem is fixed or not. With the help of these few methods, you will definitely be able to fix this issue. And if you do so, then do let me know in the comment section below. And if you find this video helpful, then don't forget to like this and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching.